particularly crustal evolution if I speak here. <laughs> Definitely you will be interested to know how the crust moves over the period. You know. So how old is the crust? How old is the crust? Is it very old or very young? Any answer? How old is the crust? How old is the earth? Let us say 4 billion years. Right? Assume it is still 4 billion years. So how old is the crust? Is it 4 billion years or is it is young? Maximum age would be 4 billion years. It cannot be more than that. Na? Of course, the crust is 4 billion years old. But we do not have the rocks of that age. <coughs> the rocks having an age of 4 billion years is not preserved from the earth crust. But follow this point. Na? Rocks maximum, you know, 3.8, 3.9, you know, are reaching 4 billion years. You know. So only continental crust level talking means continent and ocean together you are talking. Oceanic crust only. What is the age of oceanic crust? 200 million years. Yes, I am coming to that point. Ocean crusts are much younger. The continental crusts are continent crust means what is the definition of continent and the ocean? Is it the water boundary that defines the ocean? The ocean boundary, the water boundary defines definitely the ocean. But oceanic crust is something else. Oceanic crust and the ocean, these are two different things. Ocean is a geographic term. But when you go to oceanic crust, it is much inside, you know. That means continental crust extends little into the ocean, the geographic ocean. So real oceanic cross starts around 10 to 20 kilometers below or away from the uh, land water boundary. So oceanic crusts are basically, you know, basaltic in composition. But continental crusts are granitic compositions. But the water does not demarcate the basalt and the granite boundary. It is somewhere inside. The basalt, true basaltic rocks, comes well inside the ocean. From where the oceanic crust boundary starts. So oceanic crust boundary starts much inside the ocean. So follow this point. Now. Ocean geography boundary much inside the continental crust. So when I talk about how old is the crust together. So it will be maximum 4 billion years. It cannot be older than that. <coughs> but we do not have crust as old as four, except a few places, you know. Very rarely. In Canada, we have around 4 billion years crust. Very small, small pieces of continental crust of 4 billion years is preserved. In Canada, in Australia. But generally, you know, the oldest crust generally preserved around 3.8 billion years. Billion years are understanding, you know? 3.8 means 3800 million years. Now, how old is the oceanic crust? It is only 200 million. Very sharp answer. 200. Why it has been fixed at 200? I will tell you. The crust older than this in the ocean, you know, oceanic crust, the basaltic crust, older than this are destroyed. Except the Ophiolites are also 200 million years. There are older ophiolites. Older ophiolites are there, but whatever crust present within the ocean, you know, the oceanic crust which we are talking about now. They are only 200 million years. But there are some oceanic crust which has been added to continental crust. Older oceans, there may be some old oceans, you know, which has been destroyed. So those oceanic rocks, the ophiolites, sediments, they have been added to the continent. So those ophiolites will be older. So the ophiolites which you are talking about, you know, they may belong to Protozoic age, they may belong to Mesozoic age. But when you talk about ocean, the present day ocean, those older oceans are closed, destroyed. They are not present now. But what you see today, the ocean and its oceanic cross, they are only 200 million years. Older oceans are destroyed. But to follow this point. Now. So now the present day oceans, the oldest ocean may be the Pacific Ocean. 
maybe around the 200 million years, as I told you, no? it's a very magic figure. 200 million years ago. This you remember. Around that, you know, maybe 220, 200, this side 185, but around the 200, those things. But continent, you know, as I told you, 3.8 billion year old or 3.9 billion year old rocks are there. And at rare places, 4 billion year old rocks are there. But follow this point now. Now, where are the older oceans? So, older oceans or oceans were created only 200 million years afterward. There must be some older oceans also. 500 million year old. <coughs> 1 billion year old oceans, they are mostly there, they are all destroyed. So, the rocks within the ocean, those rocks within the ocean, the sediments must be there, ophiolites must be there, ophiolites are the oceanic crust, <coughs> they are called ophiolites. Those oceanic crust must be there, so where did they go? So, part of them goes inside, you know, through subducts. Ah, major part, again, you know, metamorphosed, melted, deformed and added to the continent crust. They are just like scum, you know, in the milk. Milk when you say it is floating now. It never goes out. Once the milk is boiled, that scum, you know, comes out. Then you reboil it. It will never be melted again. It will remain up. Why? Because it is a lighter substance. It will never go down within the milk. So again you boil, thicker scum will come. Again you boil, thicker scum will come. And it will go on adding. Similarly, the ocean is a milk pot. Ocean is a milk pot. Now it is producing those scums, you know, sediments are being deposited. That is part of the scum. Oceanic crust is being created. The part of the scum, you know, milk. So now if you close the ocean, those sediments, where they will go? They will be thrown out into the nearby continent. Suppose Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal. The sediments are being deposited. Ophiolites are there inside. Ophiolites means oceanic crust are there inside. Now close bay of Bengal. So how this closing takes place, we will discuss. But you remember that the oceans are closed. Like this. Just like the butterfly, you know, closes its wings. Similarly, the oceans also closes its wings. Understood, na? So those rocks, where they will go? Partly they will be hold inside. The but they are lighter, you know, scum. The lighter, no? so how how much or how long, how deep you can keep inside? You cannot keep. They will float. They will come out. Squeeze it out. And where would they go? They will be added to India, or Myanmar, or to Australia. They will be added. No? So now, whatever crust was there in India, they will be added by this 200 million year old crust. Now, whatever rocks you are getting inside Bay of Bengal, they are 200 million year old. So, those 200 million year rocks will be added to India crust now. Whatever India crust was having, plus these 200 million year old rocks. <coughs> like this, you know, over the years, right from 4 billion years, oceans are being created, rocks are being deposited, oceans are being closed. A date to the pre-existing crust, again oceans are being created, a date to the pre-existing crust. Like that, you know, crust has evolved. To follow this point, now. So, who is the kitchen? The ocean is the kitchen, you know, who is making the crust for you? The crust, you see, <coughs> crust is right from 4 billion years ago. Till today, crusts are in making. But oceans are making Go and destroy. Making, destroy. So that is the hot spot. That is the hot spot. Kitchen. They are making food for you. See, let us take the case of India. The oldest crust is 3.8. Then 3.8 is there, 2.5 is there, 2.1 is there. Then gradually, gradually, you know, so many times oceans have been created, rocks have been deposited, rocks have been thrown into the pre existing crust. Making the Indian crust, you know, grow laterally as well as vertically. So, what you see today, you know, is addition of so many crusts <coughs> over these years, one after the another. 
Understood now? So that means that is how the cross has evolved. That is how he, the cross has evolved. Now another 200 million years after, you know, this Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean, all are closed. Because they have very short life. Oceans are having very short life. But cross does not have life. It is everlasting. Why? The life of ocean depends, you know, when it closes. Just like butterfly. Understood, na? But continent has no life. Continent is everlasting. Because whatever oceans will give up, na? By its death, will be added to the continent crust. So it will grow only. It will not die. So partial depth, you know, partial depth. Like, you know, part of the crust went into subduction. But it will come out again. It is lighter, na? It is very light. So it will not be subducted. It is very light. Only ocean will die. So ocean's death counts for the growth of the continents. So, so such a big crust you are seeing today, you know, thickness is say around 40 km, 50 km, somewhere 70 km. How wide it is, how big the crusts are, you see, they are out of the death of all these oceans only. So many times oceans has been killed or dead, you know, to give rise to these continents. So continents will never die. So now if you want to study the earth evolutionary history, you have to study the evolution of the crust only, continental crust, because it has never died. It is alive, you know, right from beginning, 4 billion years to today. Oceans are dead. You will not find <coughs> protrodic oceans. You will not find Arcan oceans. Only the recent oceans you will see. Would you follow this point? Yeah. So you said that the sediment are deposited on the oceanic plate to form continent. Continent. Yeah. Continent. Yeah. But the major part of the continent is remaining. What is the sediments? What are the sediments? Sediment. Tell me what are the rocks in the basin? Three rocks. One is sandstone, another is shale, another is limestone. Out of the three, which is dominating? Shale and sandstone. So, cell and sandstone will give rise to what? So, it is granitic in composition. The sediments are dominantly granitic in composition. So, now they will be added to the continent. So, how different the granite will be gone? They must be sub-included in the... No, so these sediments will be melted. The subduction will take place, na? Ocean will close. When ocean, ocean is now spread about like, now it will close. The sediments which are inside, they will press, melted, form granite, and then thrown out, added to the continent. That is how the addition. Addition is not a simple. Yes, yes. Any? <laughs> yes. Means continent will form by even Many things will happen. I will discuss those. So that addition is not a simple addition. You know, yeah, clear, yeah, answer. You do sediment, you put it. You do lower form by rock. You. Many things happens. How the sediments convert to. That addition of rocks into the continental crust, also there is a mechanism, how it is added. Understood, na? That is how the continent has grown. Obviously, whatever continent you are seeing today, whether it is American crust or India crust, it is built by, bit by bit addition. Every year, oceans are destroyed and continents have been created. That is how the continental crust has grown. Now, this growth of continents, continent is a growth here. Over these years, who will explain? Who, what, what process? What process will explain? Understood this part? Today, what is the mechanism? Now you see, you people, you people are sitting here. You just imagine my days, my days, we are also sitting in class like this. My parent days, they are also sitting in some type of classrooms, you know. Go back, go back, go back. Now you see, how we have grown, the way we have grown, you are not growing in the same way. Similarly, the way my parents have grown, I have not grown in the same way. No? Similarly, go back, go back, go back. Many things have been changed you know, in our growth time. See, now everything is now in your fingertip. The information is in your fingertip. You know. Just have a mobile, you are getting information so quickly. So your brain is jammed up with information nowadays. But in our time, there is a lot of information gap. Many things which are happening in part of South India, we are not knowing. Today, if there is an earthquake happens in Manipur, within a second you are knowing. How? 
But after 20 days, 30 days, things will come to us in our time. You don't understand, no? Like anything happens in Pathan court, you are seeing in the next day or in the same night news. So the way you are growing, I have not grown in the same manner. Or the way I have grown, my father has not grown in the same manner. So the growth. Similarly, crust, you see? Yesterday in the climate geology class, I was telling you, you know, how climate is behaving just like human body. So you can compare your growth also continental growth. Your growth, the way you are growing, you know, see how my parent, parent, parents have grown. There is no education. Their, their growth was absolutely based on their experience. How we shall stay in a society? How we shall stay with a bondly, you know, relationship? It is absolutely based on the experience. Sir. But now, how you are living in the society based on some established facts. Already it is established. Would you follow this point? So there is a revolution, you know, in the growth stage. <coughs> the way the plants are growing now, the plants are not grown in the same way in the earlier days. Now everything has been, you know, uh, the nurseries are there, plants are being planted, you know, in a systematic manner, plants are being demolished in a systematic manner. Everything, the growth, you know, is a very systematic process. And this system, you know, varies over time. Similarly, the crustal growth is not a constant process. The way the crusts are growing today, very easily I told you, you know, Bay of Bengal sediments will be thrown over the Indian crust. Maybe this is the fact today. But was this happening some 500 million years back? Or 1000 million years back? Was this was happening? Or which way the crust was growing? Crust was growing is a fact. Because you are seeing the rocks right from 4 billion years That is a fact. But how the crust has grown? Has it grown in the same manner as it is growing today? Whether the oceans in the earlier time were similar as the oceans today? But follow this point now. So this growth style has also varied. With the geological time scale, the growth style has also varied. Now, those study of those growth style, hey, Archean time, how was the crustal growth? How was the crustal growth during protrogic time? How was the crustal growth during Mesozoic time? How is it is today? So they are all different. They are all different. This crustal growth, addition of the crust, you know, a preservation of the crust, they are different during different geological periods. So that we will read. The point is, all these things, the crustal growth, demolition of the oceans. How was the oceans? All these things, you know, are dealt in the top, in the subject called tectonics. Tectonics. Tectonics is the subject which deals with explaining the phenomena of crustal growth. The crustal growth, kaise ho raha hai, isko explain karne ke the subject, you know, like, you know, how fold and fault develops. You will read structural geology book, you will not read a paleontology book. Na? Similarly, if you want to read, you know, economic geology, you will read a economic geology book. But if you want to read crustal growth, Go for a tectonics. So tectonics is the subject, you know, which explains how crust grows over time. If the crust grows, this, this fact, you know, is not a very simple thing. Crust growth, like your growth, you know, is it a simple thing? You are growing in which way, you see? Your educational growth, your body growth, <coughs> your economic growth. So many growths are there. No? So crustal growth, like the diversified. How cross grows? If not one after another, you know, things have been superimposed. Crustal growth, see, he was telling the sediments are there. How they become granite, it is a process. <coughs> now, suppose they became granite. Now, how they were, see, the, all the rocks have been deformed, you know, folds are developed. How, during the crustal growth, folds are developing? That is also a process. Metamorphism is also a process. All these things are happening during the crustal growth. Na. So when you read tectonics, you may have to take care of all these branches. Without that, this topic, you know, tectonics is not complete. So like if I ask a question, you know, the life suddenly becomes exorbitant. Suddenly starts, you know, flourishing from Cambrian. When life comes, huh? protrogic ends. Huh? During protrogic, life was very limited, restricted. 
but during embryo life becomes so abundant process process becomes full of